Remote 3D printing using Cura, this time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitcher, and welcome back to Hack 5. In our last video, we set up Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi and connected it to our 3D printer. This will allow us to have all sorts of capabilities that I discussed in the last video, so make sure you check that out at the link down below if you haven't already seen it. In this video particularly, we're going to be discussing the merits of remote 3D printing using Cura software. Now this does work with other slicers, but today we're going to be specifically focusing on Cura, as that's my preferred slicer, and it's really quite capable. All of the software used in this video is completely free, uh, and will be linked in the description down below. So let's get started. As I said, we're going to assume that you already saw the last video, and that you have a functioning Cura setup installed and working with your 3D printer. I'm also going to assume that you have Cura installed. Uh, you just go to the Cura website, download it, and install it. Uh, we're going to be doing this on a Windows machine. However, that shouldn't affect anything. There shouldn't be any differences between Cura running on Linux, Mac, or Windows. So this should work all the same for you. To begin, we are going to do nothing with Octoprint. Octoprint is set up pretty much out of the box for this kind of situation. Uh, we will touch on the webcam option later in the video. However, what we're going to do first is go over to Cura and go to the marketplace. We're going to scroll down and find the Octoprint Cura plugin, Octoprint Connection. This is a default plugin included in the marketplace. You just need to click on it and click install. Once that's done installing, you can restart Cura. Once Cura is opened back up, we can go over to Manage Printers, Connect Octoprint, Refresh. And in some cases, it will automatically discover the printer. In this case, it does not seem to. So instead, we will do, uh, we'll just call this Monoprice, and we will do IP address or hostname, which is octopi.local and hit OK. And we can have it request an API key. And this will automatically open the web UI. So you don't have to go in and configure any keys or anything. You just hit that and hit Allow. And once you hit Allow, it will automatically populate the API key slot. And as you can see, we're logged in as Glitch, or whichever your username is. Uh, start print job after uploading. That's fine. Connect a printer before sending print job. That's probably important, but I'll skip it for now. Show webcam image. Now we're gonna to touch more on this in the next video, but you can connect a Pi camera or a USB webcam and mount it to the printer and have Cura display that. It is awesome for monitoring prints remotely. Uh, store G code on the printer SD card. Now this just simply determines whether or not the print file is stored on the printer's SD card as the description implies. Now this can be useful if your printer is having difficulty or you're getting stutters uh, printed over USB. This basically just uploads the file to the printer's SD card and then prints from that like a normal print. So you're not going to have any of the issues that come with USB printing. My setup works fine, so I'm not going to use that. And we can hit connect here just to make sure everything works. As you can see, it uh, we got a blue check mark in the corner and we're connected to the printer. Now if you go over and hit monitor, you can actually see all the information in the printer. Now if we had a webcam connected, it would show up right here. As you can see, we can actually go through and jog the printer. I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background, but it is moving. And there you have it. You've just connected Octoprint to Cura, and you can start prints remotely. So let's go download something and print it. So I've just downloaded this awesome Hack5 Wi-Fi pineapple logo made by Nal, Nalcop465. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below in case you want to print it. And there we go. It is now loaded in Cura. And all I have to do, assuming your print settings for Cura are configured appropriately, in which case mine are, is hit slice. It will slice the model and hit print with Octoprint. Storing data on Octoprint. And as you might be able to hear in the background, the printer has just homed and the build plate is heating up. And after the build plate's heated up, the extruder will heat up and it'll start printing. 
we get a nice little printing time estimate, estimated time left. I find this to be reasonably accurate, but it can depend on the printer and acceleration settings and so on. And there you have it. You've just set up OctoPrint, started a print remotely. And in the next video, we will be adding a webcam, a case for the Raspberry Pi, so everything's secure and safe, and mounting the camera. I think we'll also fix the power situation because as I said in the last video, uh, Pies can be pretty power hungry and having to also deal with a separate USB brick that can get knocked or unplugged while your printer's still running is kind of annoying. So we're gonna be fixing all that in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any suggestions about plugins you want me to see, dig into, and explore, make sure to leave a comment down below. This has been Hack5, I've been Glitch. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.